In this particular video lecture, we will learn about evolution of entrepreneurship in India and barriers to entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship in India. The evolution of entrepreneurship in India is the efforts of great people as well as professionals. It started as business, a family business known to be around 1850s with the starting of cotton mill in Bombay. From then on, entrepreneurship had grown in all directions from cotton mill to manufacture to services, electronic goods, healthcare, exports and imports, information technology, education, transport, space technology, etc. In the past, business community was involved in trade and commerce. Some of the points that are noteworthy with respect to entrepreneurship in the past are manufacture and supply of a product was based on demand. The traders used to book orders from the required people and get them from the producer. All the members of the family were involved in business, from planning to manufacture steel and finally selling them. The industrial activity was controlled by the caste system. For example, viewer, viewers used to view clothes, goldsmiths used to make ornaments, farmers used to produce food products, etc. The skin of an enterprise was inherited from ancestors. The trade activity was dependent on caste system. The family based industries and trade were badly affected during British rule. Indian entrepreneurship was mainly in the areas of textile, iron and steel, and hydro hydroelectric projects, etc. In the present, there is tremendous growth of industries and services over the last 50 to 60 years. Banking, automobiles, software development, petrochemicals, cement, steel, communication, etc. are some of the major modern entrepreneurship areas where a lot of innovations had taken place. Some of the noteworthy highly talented entrepreneurs of India are G.D. Birla, J.R.D. Tata, Aditya Birla, Godrej, Jamnalal Bajaj, Vadya, Hindujas, Azim Prem of Vipro, Narayana Murthy of Infosys, Satya Narayana Raja of Satyam, Dev by Ambani of Reliance, Karsan by Patel of Nirma, etc. Before 1940s, the Indian business was almost dominated by British companies, except for some well established companies like Tata Steel, Birla Group, Wadias, etc. It was very difficult to compete with British goods. After Second World War in 1945, no business opportunities were projected like cement, steel, and other infrastructures. Indian industry began to expand in the core sector only after independence in 1947. Barriers to Entrepreneurship Krasniki in 2007 identified various barriers to entrepreneurship. The various barriers are depicted in the diagram. Barriers to Entrepreneurship The first barrier is macroeconomic environment. Macroeconomic environment conducive to entrepreneurship is dependent upon the policies of the government in supporting private participation in business. Macro means large and the term macroeconomic means the larger view of the economy. It is different from micro view which concerns a firm or a company in the market. For example, in India, the process of liberalization started during the mid-1980s when by the government started the process of Encouraging foreign MNCs to create joint ventures with Indian domestic companies. This process created a macroeconomic environment in which many new, small, and medium enterprises evolved to become suppliers and vendors for the joint ventures so created. Prior to the macroeconomic environment in India, was a big deterrent to entrepreneurship as there was no freedom for entrepreneurs to set up their ventures without taking the licenses or approvals from the government. Black period is often known as license raj. Macroeconomic policy also affects the entrepreneur's decision to invest especially in projects that require longer term to produce a return. Legal and regulatory environment. The legal and 
regulatory environment for entrepreneurship is formed by registration and licensing procedures, commercial and contractual laws, property right laws, bankruptcy and collateral law, real estate regulations and labor laws. When the administrative procedures and laws are unclear, time consuming and cumbersome, they would also pose barriers to entrepreneurship. If these procedures and laws are changed or revised frequently, it would create a sense of uncertainty and risk in the minds of entrepreneurs trying to establish a new business venture in the region. Corruption and unfair competition. A corrupt economy can lead to unfair competition, which in turn can become a major deterrent to entrepreneurial activity. Existing Regulations and approvals from the government required by entrepreneurs may make the government officials corrupt. They develop this attitude of taking bribes from entrepreneurs in return for speedy approvals. In this way, the harnessed entrepreneurs suffer due to unfair competition from other entrepreneurs who get early approvals due to under-the-table payments to government officials. And un an unhealthy environment develops which deters new entrepreneurs from setting up new ventures. Financial obstacles. Startup ventures are usually dependent upon capital to be sourced from banks and financial institutions. It has been observed that in many economies, banks are reluctant to give loans to small startup firms. In the case of Kiran Madhunza shop, it is evident that often banks have gender bias as well in this particular regard. Banks often seek high collateral amounts in guarantee for repayment of loans or charge high interest rates which pose a major obstacle to entrepreneurs. Tax burden. In many regions, the government charges higher taxes for even small startup ventures and has tedious procedures for complaints of tax submission formalities. In order to promote entrepreneurship, the governments would need to have rational tax structures with easy tax submission procedures. Otherwise, high taxes add to the cost of operations for a startup company, thus weakening its competitive position for survival and growth. High taxes in a region also pose entry barrier for entrepreneurs. Difficulty to source raw materials. For entering a market with a product, an entrepreneur has to identify if the suppliers of raw materials and components existing in the market have adequate capacity or are willing to expand capacity to meet the requirement of a new player in the industry. If not, then it becomes imperative to establish new suppliers in the market, which may become cumbersome for the entrepreneur. Thus, this difficulty to source raw materials and components often deters entrepreneurs to enter market. Challenges in attracting talent. This is another big is issue faced by small startup companies. The best of talent in engineering, management and other disciplines want to work for multinational companies rather than for small startups. This attitude of professionals makes it difficult for entrepreneurs to attract them for their entrepreneurial ventures. Thus, there is a dire need to create, a, create an ecosystem for entrepreneurship so that budding professionals start valuing their association with entrepreneurial ventures compared to working for MNCs. Expansion to access proprietary technology. The expenses to access proprietary technology is one of the barriers to entrepreneurship. For example, big companies like Texas Instruments invent breakthrough technologies which have the potential of applications in many fields. They gain licenses of such state-of-art technology to other companies worldwide to develop and market products based upon it. They charge hefty license fee from such companies in return. Entrepreneurs find it really very hard to arrange for such staggering license fee and thus face entry barriers in such fields. In this video lecture, we have discussed about evolution of entrepreneurship in India in the past and present. Also, we have discussed about various barriers to entrepreneurship.